Heat transfer is not going to be defined as an energy in itself, but rather as a movement due to a temperature change or a temperature difference. So that temperature difference is going to result in the flow of this energy or this heat from a hot to a cold. The heat we are going to define as Q, and as we've already said, it's going to go from a hot temperature to a cold temperature. There are three methods that are, we are going to look at, and these are going to be conduction, convection, and lastly, radiation. So the first form of conduction is heat transfer that is going to be due to direct contact with something, but it's heat transfer without movement. So there's no movement of anything happening here. So the one example of this is if I have a pole, a metal pole, and I'm holding it on the left hand side, there's my hand holding it, and I put it into a fire, the heat from the fire will gradually move down the length of this metal pole until it gets to my hand and I will feel this getting hot. So importantly to note that this is heat transfer without movement. It always goes, as we said in the previous slide, it goes from hotter to colder, and it can happen in solids, liquids, and in gases. But please remember that it's no movement involved. Convection, on the other hand, is going to be heat transfer because of movement. So some movement needs to happen in order for this to be convection. There are going to be two types of convection. The first one is going to be diffusion. And diffusion is the random movement of particles due to the Brownian motion in the fluid. So the example of that is if we have a beaker and we put we have a slightly higher temperature in the top left hand corner, the individual particles might randomly move throughout and this would be a long slow process but those eventually all move through and the temperature will become the same throughout. The second one we have is advection and advection is a bigger movement of, or the large scale movement of currents in a fluid. And the one to think of in this is that hot air rises. So that sort of philosophy where hot air rises, bulk movements, ocean currents and things like that are advection. The sum of these two, so diffusion plus advection on conduction, or sorry, on convection. The last type of heat transfer is radiation, and this one is due to electromagnetic waves. So unlike the previous two, this one does not require a, a, heat, a heat gradient, a temperature gradient rather, but we can feel the effects of radiations even without something between us. So the example of this is either the sun or a fire. If we have the sun or the fire, it's typically at a very hot temperature, so I'll say 1000 degrees Celsius, typically anything above 400 degrees Celsius is where this will take effect. If there's a fire, I'm standing some distance away from that fire, you are still going to feel the effects of the fire and we're going to start getting hot and sweaty, even though there is no temperature gradient between me and the fire. In actual fact, between the sun and us, there's absolutely nothing but we will still be able to feel the effects of the sun from radiation.